Is his teenagers for you? Nah, but Adrian's not a normal teenager, George. Yes, I am. Don't be so silly, of course you're not. And you're polite to me and your dad. You keep your room tidy and... Uh, well, you don't play your stereo system at full density. But I bet they don't live an ordinary life like me. No, they're lucky. They go home to book line studies and intellectual families. Perhaps when my diary is discovered, people will understand the torment of being a 13 and three quarter year old intellectual. Then it's a new girl at our school. Her name's Pandora, but she likes to be called Box. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I think I might fall in love with her. Then you're in trouble, Mum. Because I need 35 pence a day from you. So that I can maintain my present lifestyle. You've seen the price of Don Marcos! Oh, you're hurting me a bit. <laughs> Sorry, gotta do it. I ain't hurt you in far too much. No, you're hurting me a lot. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you found a well known lad. Where were they? In Sabre's kennel. Oh, uh, give him a swill on the left tap then, would you, lad? But no. You mean, other than me? Yes, I said another man. Ooh. Ever since you moved next door, I've had colour in my life, excitement. I couldn't wait to hang my washing out in the morning. Where's Paul, eh, George? In Sheffield. Oh, does she know it's Sheffield? Mr. Lucas, from next door. But Mr. Lucas from next door lives next door, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Not only not, he doesn't. He lives in Sheffield. She's wasted on George. My God, he must be the most boring man in Leicester. Well, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm looking the kitchen wall down tomorrow. I don't know why you don't just finish my phone. Put rat poison in me too. Come out one day, tell me you're pregnant. Yeah.